its unbeaten others. The 2004 Olympian has been making quick work of most every opponent he faces. Gerardo Prieto was quickly dismissed, and TKO victim Miguel Figueroa was beaten so badly that ringside observer felt it went too far, even going six rounds. This past February, he destroyed recent contender participant Nito Bravo with three first-round knockdowns and a TKO win. It was his last fight, a fight many feel he won. It was last October against prospect of the year Joel Julio. Cosby came in strong at the end. In fact, in the 12th round, he floored Julio. Julio barely survived. The scorecards, though, went the other way. A heart and socks to make 146 of his 16 opponents. Season stuff. This handicap is whether you use, you know, sometimes it does seven and a quarter pounds. Just a quarter pound contract called for. But he went and lost it because 10 ounce gloves. I 10 ounce gloves. Alberto, the last stalker, a hunter, and heavy, heavy-handed. Going after it up top early on here was still a... It's caught, he's going to move his head up top. Down and pull away from it. Coach Parcells, our special guest, Anos, we'll hear more from him in a little bit. Berto trying to press forward at the end of... Kenny on Friday Night Fights. Round one, all 17 connects were to the head. Rivera's fought a lot of... He is, and then... I just think that because Berto's the bigger man, he went down to this way, to welterweight. Then he moved up to junior welter for almost all of his career. The young, you can see, he wants to get, this is what you need to get if you're Rivera. Use that ring speed of Berto. Ed has a funny habit of not moving as well. There's a body shot. Punch in with a There's a body punch and suddenly he's not going to theory that Teddy has put feet featherweights and bantamweights. Yeah. And they'd have to go out to number three, Andre Berto. Take a look. Our joining us ringside here. Round number three. Reads in our business that gets to do just about everything. It's on the way up in other sports. Well, I want to see how Berto responds to the bright lights as Teddy was saying. I've many breakthrough athletes and in this sport, Berto is... You know, use your jab. You're taught to use your jab. Trying a little bit too hard right now. Some, hey, you know, we're at a racetrack. I'm sure sometimes horses have to be see starting at 4 Eastern to a spot on a much anticipated middleweight showdown. But the basics, the things that he's the next welterweight champ. Use the jab. Somebody got his ear. He's using that jab, and when the flash bulbs to go off, knockout, and he goes away from the thing that sets up those knockouts. Yeah, right hand comes behind it. Tries to go to the bottom. Clash of heads and a cut on the Brit Vera. End of four here in Saratoga Springs. Right hand is blocked by that right hand. Cosme Rivera, who fought Zap Judah for a world. Punch track numbers as Berto went. He's a guy that comes out of training camp and he's to use those physical abilities a little bit more. But I think he was affected no matter how good the athlete is. In football, the, the, the words we would use would be uh, trying to be technically precise. That just trying to maul somebody isn't going to be able to get the job done. You have to use the technique. And Andre Berto on the other. Only two others have gone. Well, you know, you just touched on the, the question to me. Go that experience to win. Going to stay in there. And it's always about choices. Your business is about choices, too. And here's Rivera making the choice. So far, at least in my eyes, frustrate Berto, though. And oh, Berto, big combination upstairs. Rivera fighting to survive, you know, all his wares. I think all those things together. Hard to get to a guy when he's not taking. Oh, and he got first knockdown. Oh, Holy three. cow. Actually, left uppercut. Left uppercut. And if you look at it, it was 10 seconds to go in the sixth round. He was lucky the knockdown happened late to begin with. Way up. That it could go somewhere. That it did that calm and that smart. You could leave that tape, and now all of a sudden you get another break. <laughs> you got to think of thing to look out for your fighter. Everything that's in the center of the ring. I had his fighter sleepwalking a little bit. Sure he, did. You know, he had Berto not expecting anything back. He had a guy in front of him who was just fighting to survive, and Berto, Berto now is paying attention. He's dotting the eyes, but Rivera received a bad cut now. Bad, bad cut around the right eye of Rivera. Berto sees blood, goes after that target. Now, Berto, Rivera's been cut in two of his last four fights, so nothing new. He will not panic. Great energy here.
here in Saratoga. The upset-minded Rivera against the hot prospect Berto as we come to the end of seven. And then Scott Tip took nine months off before getting back. He just wanted to get a better look at the cut. He was asking his own trainer. Presses on with the left hook. Berto charging forward now. Andre Berto trying to hunt down a bloody and battered fierce on Rivera. Berto presses in again. In that sixth round. There's a good cut. Again, no advantage anymore for Rivera. No sleepwalking by Berto. Now you see the who had him in trouble. Such damaging blows with another series of headshots. Berto would be really serving himself. Rivera trying to survive. We said going into this fight that if you're in the camp of Berto, you're looking for a development fight. Power punching of Berto as we come to the end of Saratoga. Round number... Berto working behind that jab. Now to the end. <laughs> Bill Parcells is the body language. Uh, as he did earlier on. Effectively, there's nothing up. Of course, he picks it up when he sees Rivera coming. This ninth round moves on. There's swelling, a bad cut, and blood streaming down the face. And worse than that, right into the eye. The doctors have taken by a left hook. By a no more. <laughs> now he's fighting on ABC tonight this town. Would absolutely need to come up with a spectacular. We're at a racetrack. We've been talking boxing. We've been a little bit. Or do you let him go run like a champion? He wants to back into you, be safe, and say, hey, just don't get caught anything. Or do you say, go out there, do what you want to do. Feel like a champion. Uh -huh. For time there. But, you know, this Berto is pressing a little bit more here lately. Is putting himself in the eye of the storm. He's ahead in his fight. And chance against a guy that he's already been on the floor with. But then again, Bill, there's a lot of people who would say, hey, if he's going to be a future world champion. Beat him, and he's trying to beat him. He's mixing up. Every once in a while, he'll turn southpaw. See, he turns southpaw right in midstream. And what he's hoping to do there is all of a sudden get Berto in a position where he doesn't know a punch is coming from a new angle. Back in the sixth round. He definitely came to fight. Boy, did he ever look at this strong. Oh, it's a tremendous effort down the stretch of this 10th round as he's away. And Berto always willing to respond. How was that uppercut for a receipt? Well, what I like about it is he set it up. He saw it. Still undefeated.